What's up everybody? Josh Powell here. We got another video today. Uh, this video comes from the Kenny Brisbane Benefit Tournament at Side Pockets uh, this last weekend. Got a special guest with me today. We'll get more about the tournament in a second. But this man sitting here, Mr. Scott Blackett. How are you, Scott? Good, buddy. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you helping me do this, man. I've got so many videos to commentate, and it's hard to get people to help, so I appreciate yeah. you. you. I think it's great that you went for the tall, dark, and handsome. You want to say hello to anybody? You want hey, to shout somebody out? Uh, Just kidding. Old. That's your time. Okay. Um, all right. We'll be seeing Scott later. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So back to this video. What we have here is Guy Jones. His Fargo is 584, and let me tell you, he plays better than 584. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it done to me firsthand. Yeah. And he's right. playing Gary Rogers. Gary Rogers is a 554 Fargo. Uh, this was early in the tournament. Um, Gary's the one shooting at the table right now. Uh, looks like he's shooting stripes. And by the way, the, the, the rules we're playing here are not APA. This is BCA rules. So it's open after the break. You got to call your pocket. These are what everybody considers to be real pool rules right here. Okay. The, you know real, I mean? the real deal. Yeah, no slot bullshit. Okay. Yeah. So we're in for a treat on this one. Gary's, uh, what's he do? He's lining up that four in the side pocket. He drew, oh. oh, he tried to draw over for the six as well, and he helped Guy out, put one of his balls in. Lucky Guy. What do you see here, though? Guy doesn't have a whole lot, does he? Um, shoot that 13 in the side. Yeah, in the side yep. for sure. Maybe get the 14 right after that. Yep. Use that one ball to stop him. He can shoot the 14 the and then come back for the 11, which is smart because then his... His direction will bring him down for the 9, 10, whatever that is down there. Nice, nice soft shot. Slow Jeez. roll. See, now he's got the, he hit it a little hard because he wanted the angle to naturally drift forward behind the 5 so he could shoot the 9 over in the other corner. Now he's got to create something. He's got to make something happen here. He might be able to cheat it with throw. Yeah. So if he puts left spin, he can aim a little more to the right. And okay. that might be enough to cheat it to get the cue ball to to drift down there. We'll okay. see how he does it. Guy's a good shot, so we'll see. See how he's gonna do it here. He's putting it all together. <clears throat> so this was a three to four race because Guy's Fargo is higher than Gary's. Uh, Guy spotted Gary one game. So Guy has to win four, Gary has to win three. Okay, he went with top inside English. So I wonder if that must be lined up. That uh, combo. Yeah, he's going to go for that combo, I guess. But it's hard to tell from here if it's like, oh, oh, it's not. He's kicking at it. Yeah, yeah he he calculated wrong on that, I think, maybe. Right? Yes, he did. <clears throat> Miscalculation. It happens. Gary back at the table. Uh, Five on the side. Someone was shaking oh. my camera table a little bit, looks like. Yeah. I'm gonna blame Guy for that. Looks like he was sitting down when it happened. Yeah. <clears throat> Pinchy cabron. Oh, is he looking at a combo or is he playing rail first? What's he doing here? Oh uh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should go for that nine. I think the nine goes clean. Yeah. I don't think he's got a mess with a combo. It's a little uncomfortable because it's it's tight pocket, but I think it goes clean. Maybe he's considering that that mirror shot. Is that the ten? Like ten a carom shot, that? or is he kicking right off the rail? It might be kicking, yeah. Off off the rail that goes in. Where's that? Where's that put him on for the nine? Well, if he uses a little left spin, he'll come hit this bottom rail, and then he'll hit this side rail, and he'll come up towards the nine eight. Uh, depending on how hard he hits it. So it's going to be tough if he decides to kick that 10 in with the mirror shot, like you're talking about. It's a tough shape. He's got to have perfect speed, really, because the ball is going to be coming so close to where he's... He's know. got a couple options. None of them are super easy. I like just shooting the 9, buckle down, shoot the 9 past the 10 or whatever it is over there, and then shape the, the, the other one afterwards. Yeah. Oh, maybe he couldn't make it, you know, past... Yeah. It must be the case because he probably would have fired it in if it went. He didn't. He didn't set himself for, up for any sort of defensive mm. shot there either. No, nah, I think he just kind of was thinking about what to do and couldn't come up with anything good. So finally, he just said to himself, "Self, you got to go ahead and shoot this." Yeah, it's it's a it's a weird cadence. <laughs> I I struggle with that too. 
Yeah. You're like, well, I have to shoot something. So I, yeah, I, I, I can't go. stand here forever thinking about it. I gotta shoot. Yeah, I have to you shoot know. It. Well, Gary's back at the table. He's got plenty of options. Oh my goodness. He's got options for days. Shoot that four ball, but what's he? He's better be careful about how he's gonna shape that six. Oh, he's gonna put that in this. Uh, he's gonna get corner back here. On the I left. think that's what he came down for. He might be on that fifty yard line though. It's a little. He's gonna shoot the one first. Yeah, two rails around. That was the right way to play it. Oh yeah. Okay. For the side pocket, yeah, yeah it makes it way easier because you can overrun your shape. You don't have to be as good on the, the speed, you know? Okay. Looks like he's gonna shoot the combo instead of playing one at a time. Oh, no problem. Very, very no. dramatic. That wasn't dramatic at all. He knew it was gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's gonna play the eight in the side. Yep, side pocket, you see him do his little point. It's about the most you're gonna get. APA, they got you marking pockets. Here you just. Right, yeah, you gotta send in an email. So one nothing guy, now it's an even race. Race to three. Oh no. Oh no, Gary. Say it ain't so. Yeah, no, it's, that's what happened. Yeah, scratched him. Dang it. All right. So op open table for one. And BCA, it's ball in hand anywhere. Anywhere. Not just behind Not the just line. Not just in the kitchen. Whatever that means. Yeah. So he's going to look this over real well and figure out the best run out because he will absolutely try to run this out, as he should. It's pretty All right, open. so what's, what's, your, what's your best judgment on this? Are you going solids or stripes? Mm. Now that you pick solids, that seems pretty like a solid out. Yeah, that, that group. That group of three stripes over there would prevent me probably from taking stripes. Yeah. Everything's pretty wide open with solids. Yeah. All right. I don't know if he'll play the combo or just play the, the two and then shape the... He's playing the combo. It's a smart shot. Nice. So if the one passes the corner up here on the right side of the table as we're looking at it, if the one goes past uh, into that corner, then it's he's It's a pretty good out. time to, to take that opportunity. Well, he's out. I mean, whether he takes it now or just shapes to it later, it's not a big deal. If it doesn't go there, he's got, he's got a, a tougher way because he's got to shape it short side over here to go well, past. The two, the two side pocket shots uh, help you shape for the eight ball. I mean, the eight ball's out in the middle of the table. You can get it from anywhere. It's a, Seven foot table, so it's not uh, it's not going to be hard to shape that eight ball. Yeah. Okay, the one didn't go. That's why he played that. He tried to get either hit it or come behind it. Now he's a lot, looking a lot tougher. He's got to cut that one down into this corner on the left side, and come off of that far side rail and back out for the for the seven. Unless he can hold it. Yeah. Oh, he put right spin. He didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's a bummer. That's all right. Yeah. Thin cut here, and it should shape them perfect on the on the eight. Oh my goodness! Look at that. It's a good That's shot. picture perfect. Well, wow. nice shot, man. That's so Scott, no problem. How long have you been playing pool now? Um, so I started a long time ago, but I took a probably a two decade break. Took a twenty year hiatus. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. But um, and then you you got me into this uh, in this. And it's been it's been wonderful. Yeah, we started playing together on APA League. When I came back from my break hiatus yeah. as well, because I yeah. took about a ten year hiatus. Yeah, and uh, it's about you, five years now, right? Something yeah, it's like been that. like five years, and it's been it's been great. It's been uh, full of accomplishments, and um, pool for me is uh, if you don't sleep well, if you're not hydrated, if you're playing too hard, it's going to show in your pool game. So it it kind of you want to be good in the pool, you got to behave in life. So it's a, it's a good regulator for me, and uh, keeps me thinking about all those things. Very true, man. If you're not uh, well rested and hydrated, your mental focus is a little out of whack, That's and it right. makes it a little harder to play. It, I, maybe I'm more sensitive than other people, but it, it, every every one of those, um, it it totally 
shows up in my game. Well, you're definitely more sensitive. I'm very Basically, sensitive. Basically, like a little girl. I know, I know. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm if I you know if I'm playing and it's been a while since I've eaten, you know, I I don't play as well. I'd, did you uh, did you come to the commentator booth with your pool glove on? I did. My man. So yeah, I'm ready. Hey, <laughs> this guy's got dedication right here. No one can tell me otherwise. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm ready at at all times. I'm surprised I don't have my tape measure though. <laughs> no, no, to carry that to work. All right, Gary's up here shooting stripes. Took a three rail approach. Did he get on that nine? If he did, he's got to combo it to the ten. Nothing easy here for sure. This is. This is where I find myself in my game. I clear out 75% uh, of what I'm, what I'm going after, and then everything's in my way. And, uh, and then my opponent comes back and they clean it all up and win. Yeah, and so the challenge of what you need to correct is just coming up with a better plan earlier in your, in your game. That's right. So before you start making balls, develop a plan. And you don't have to develop a precise run out plan, but develop a plan about ways you can get to your trouble balls and, and just take a look at it. Okay, I can make that from here. I can I can break this up off that ball. I can do this. And then when you start shooting, you already have an idea of where you want to end up at on the table to get to those those points. Right. That'll, it's, that'll help you. It's difficult. I mean and I find I find it difficult and especially when I get into competition, um, you know, I get into a league match and and you're trying to put a good plan together. It's uh, you get the pressure. The pressure and stacks up on you, and you're shooting really good, and you're happy with that. And then next thing you know, this guy's you just made this guy's game so much easier. Yeah, you just need to develop a plan earlier and have a real conversation with yourself of whether or not you really. I know you always say you can get out because it's possible you can. Sure. But if you were to have that run out ten times, how many how many out of those ten would you actually get out? Yeah. If the answer is less than five, then look for a different different uh, plan. You know, play a safety, maneuver the ball so you have control of the table. And trying to run out when you can't do it is a death sentence in eight ball. Death sentence. I struggle with it, and I, I I'm not alone. I, I I watch I watch it. People struggle with that same. Same issue. They're pocketing balls one after the other after the other, and they get in trouble, and their opponent comes back for the win. Speaking of pocketing balls, guy's well under his way. He's just, uh, shooting that three ball. He'll draw this back and shoot the seven next, likely. And he got kind of a, a weird angle, so yeah, he's still going to go with the seven. A little inside English. Came nice. up for that five ball. Now he's got a good angle to go two rails. So put a little right English, hit the bottom rail, side rail. And he can come all the way up to where his hand is for the eight in the side, or he can play it soft like that for the eight in the corner. Nice. Yeah. I like playing it for the side pocket just because you don't have to be as, as precise on your speed with that shot. Sure. You can overrun it a little. But guy, I mean, when you're feeling good about your speed, it really doesn't matter. Sure. You're shooting well, you're feeling good. You can go for pinpoint shots and get them most of the time. You can. Well, anybody is feeling good at the time, right? Yeah. When you're in a dead stroke, you can you can move the cue ball around. I've watched you do it. Don't tell me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's just, that's a struggle uh, that I have in my game as well, though. It's just knowing where that that pool ball is gonna that cue ball is gonna end up ultimately. You're and an a APA skill level five, right? I'm a four and eight ball and a five and nine ball. Okay. Well on your way. Gary's back at the table trying to figure out what he can do to prevent this big fat goose egg that guy's giving him here. Yeah. It's three nothing right yeah, now. Boy. Gary's thinking to himself, geez, man, there's a camera here. I gotta Yeah, he's got his hands full. I gotta start doing something, man. Mr. This Rogers is uh definitely showing him. He's, he looks like he's outside his neighborhood right yeah, now. Yeah, he's def definitely outside the neighborhood. He's yeah. wandering around. He's wandering around the Detroit City Center somewhere, <laughs> he, he, getting panhandled. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holding up a sign that says the end is near. Yeah, if they were playing for money, he'd be sleeping on the street tonight, <laughs> the way he's playing, man. Just yeah, but I've, I've seen these, these before where, um, you know, next thing you know, it's the comeback of the century. It's entirely possible. Yeah, and I've played... I've played against him many times, man. He's he's a pretty good shot too. He could do it and come back. 
I mean, that's one thing about pool, man. It's never over till that last ball drops because people have come back from craziness before. You think it's done, you know? Yep. Next thing you know, you're uh, you're figuring out how you're gonna how you're gonna wipe your tears away. <laughs> what what explanation you're gonna have to your uh, your friends? Figuring out what excuse to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a thorn in my glove. I talked about that in my last video. You, to be a good pool player, you have to have good excuses. <laughs> you you know what I mean? You have to. I heard some good ones. And pool players share their excuses too. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a book out there. I think there probably is a book somewhere. I may have contributed to that book. Oh, oh boy. That was a rough one, man. Hate to see that. Well, shoot fire. Let's see what uh, let's see what old guy does. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. That's Mrs. Jones, isn't it? I, I'm not. I'm not familiar, not familiar with that, with that, that song. That eight track. <laughs> it was actually a, a vinyl record. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually on a Victor Victrola. <laughs> I don't know. Beethoven played it. Maybe first. they only played that live on the corner. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure guys out here, man. This is a this is yeah, a rough this is... one. Guys, but guys, a hell of a shot. Like I said, his Fargo of five eighty four doesn't do him justice. He plays better than that. Yeah. I think he, you know, and it's our area too. We just don't have a ton of Fargo stuff around here. Yeah. BCA is not big. You know, it's not a ton of Fargo tournaments. So a lot of players in this area. Keep that in mind, people. You come to Southeast Michigan or anywhere in, in Michigan, uh, don't judge somebody by their Fargo because you may get a you may get a surprise. You know what I mean? Oh, just as I talk him up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, yeah he, he got in trouble on that on that last shape. He's like, oh, shoot, because he was well on his way. Well, speaking of trouble, I think Gary's still in trouble. Yeah, he's got some trouble there. He might well. be able to cut that two in the side, which would solve that whole problem. Yeah. There. If he cuts the two in the side, it'll clip the five, spread the five and four. He'll end up with a shot. Oh, and he didn't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, look at that. that. I can't believe it. He didn't call that, though. Nah, he didn't call it. No. He played safe, and this is not APA, so. Yeah. Get that sloppy junk out Get of here. Get that out of my kitchen. All right. Well, I don't know why. I think he was trying to hit it full and stay right there, so he was in line with that too. But he could have cut that two in the side the first time and, and avoided all this mess. Oh, there's a, there's a good shot. A little hard, though. Now he's got to bank it. He's got to bank it. Sometimes you got to man up and make a shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just got there. Like that. Just like that. Just like that. Kaboom. Very nicely done, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Am I the only one that likes calling him Mr. Rogers? I, lo I love calling him Mr. Rogers. Slices. He dices. Oh, my goodness. He, and was... he sleeps on the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well... Man, oh man, now, Gary, now the guy's got to bank one. Guy's going to have to, yeah, he's going to have to show his colors here. If he does, this game is over. Slow bank and slow death. That's it. Mm. <laughs> he hit it that slow hurts. so he could watch it the whole way Welcome when it wasn't going in. my neighborhood. I like your subscribe there on the pool table. That's, it's, it looks like a new font. What's that, ladies? <clears throat> Did you say subscribe? I said subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I heard them say subscribe. That's right. Don't forget to do it. Subscribe. We don't do this for fun. Well, actually, we do do it. It is for pretty fun. fun. I mean, <laughs> we don't even get paid to do this. <laughs> I think we're going to make dozens of dollars here. We're going to make dozens of nickels <laughs> on this one for sure. <laughs> funny because I ask people <clears throat> I always ask my opponent before I record my match you know and at least five times already I've heard oh I get a share of the profits I'm like sure <laughs> you already got them <laughs> your share is already in your pocket <laughs> and I gave you 90% of what I made <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah your share is in the uh, the chance to win the uh, whatever 
whatever the value Your share is in the recognition and clout you're going to get when you whip my arse on TV. Wow. And then it usually doesn't happen. Sometimes. Well. Well, sometimes. It's not too often. That's wow. game, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's, that's we a were wrap. talking, and that's <laughs> over. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.